hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is connection to lobby loss so if you're receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to check for any outage for, from ea site so you can go to ea website the link is provided in the video description and check if there is any kind of outage uh, from ea site for ea sports fc 26 if everything is good then follow the next step next is to restart the game simply restart the game and then check if that does not work go to settings in the cl clubs menu and you can change the server region only manager can do it so you can ask manager to switch to another region server and this has worked for many players so it might work for you so you can try this next step is to switch to different network so if you have any other network available uh, you can go to wi-fi icon at the bottom right and you can switch to different network and then check you can e even use mobile hotspot so you can turn on the data on the phone turn on the hotspot on your phone and go to the wi-fi and then you can connect to your phone network and then you can check this has also worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to run the game as an administrator now for this you can go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder and then here you can see game exe file make a right click go to properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok then run the game as an administrator and then check still not working the next step is to make sure date time time zone and reason is correct to new computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time click on adjust date and time and if set time zone automatically if this is off turn it on also set time automatically turn it on and then click on sync now at the bottom here you can see sync now option click on it once sync is done go to time and language language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then check now for many players using vpn has also worked so you can try that you can turn on the vpn and then check if it is already on you can turn it off and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security go to privacy and security windows security virus and threat protection and then click on scroll down click on manage ransomware protection click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in steam you can open fc26 in in my case i have the game on ea app so select select all the exe file we have fc26 and even the ea anti-cheat game service launcher and then open e and installer e anti cheat and then select this one and then control panel and then go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app to on browse again go to the game installation folder and then select all the exe file add it over here once added now you can launch the game in my case it is already added so i'm not doing it. now the next step is to perform power cycle so shut down your computer first unplug the power cable from the computer turn off wi-fi router wait for a few seconds restart your wi-fi router plug in the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then check next is to run these command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator and then click on yes to allow copy all these commands one by one over here and paste it over here hit the enter key all the commands are provided in the video description Now, once you run all the command, now restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. Use Google DNS server. Now, for this, you can type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel. Go to system, uh, sorry, go to network and internet. Go to network and sharing center. And then click on your internet over here. And then go to properties. 
over here you will see internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv ipv4 select it and then click on properties and click on use the following dns server and for preferred dns server type in 8888 for alternate dns server type in 8844 then click on validate settings upon exit and then click on ok close this and then now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to now if you're using already using the manual like google dns or any manual uh, dns server over here in that case you can change it to opt in dns server automatic you can select this one and then click on ok relaunch the game and then check still not working then go to properties and then this time over here you scroll down here you can see internet protocol uh, protocol version 6 tcp ipv6 you can uncheck this box and then click on ok and then launch the game and then check once you are done playing the game you can go back to properties and then you can put a check on internet protocol version 6 click on ok and then check now the next step is to perform network reset now before you perform network reset make sure that you have the wi-fi password because after the network reset when you try to connect to your wi-fi it will be asking for your password so to perform network reset you can go to windows settings go to network and internet and then go to advanced network settings and over here you can see network reset option click on reset now click on yes and during this your system will restart and then connect to your internet and then check use ethernet connection so you can use wired connection so if the wi-fi is uh, you can, if your computer has an ethernet port and if you have a ethernet cable you can switch to uh, ethernet uh, wired connection and then check next step to update next step is to update windows now for this you can go to windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to verify or repair the game files now if you have the game on steam go to steam make our active on the game select properties i don't have the game on steam i have the game on e app so i'll show you with different game so just make a right click on the game and then select properties go to install files tab and then to verify integrity integrity of game files once the verification is done launch the game if you have the game on e app then click on manage over here and then click on repair after the repair launch the game the last step is to launch e app in offline mode launch the game in uh, in the main menu once launch the game once you are in the main menu you can minimize the game and then you can go online so go to e app click on these three horizontal lines and then go offline click on yes i'm sure and over here you will see the game so click on the game and this will launch the game and once the game is up and running you can open e app once again make sure you go to the main menu once the game is in main menu and then you can go online and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel